So to add a color into Scribus is an important thing to know how to do because it comes with only a few colors preloaded in. And what I mean by that is if I want to have a headline, let's say, and I want to make it green, I would select the text by double clicking in the box and then clicking and dragging to select. I go to text, color and effects, and then here, next to this paint bucket, I see my options for filling that color. And I want it to be green, but what I really want is a dark green for this one. So I need to add green to my palette. To do that, I go to Edit, Colors, and then I'm going to add a new color, so new. And then from this map, I pick something in the green family, and I can use these sliders to increase the darkness or decrease, change the shade. This right here will show me what the color will look like when it's applied. You can also search online for CMYK color maps, and those will tell you the exact percentages you could fill in over here to get very specific printable colors. So once I've got a green that I'm happy with, I name it. And then I click OK. Now I see it show up in this list. Make sure you click OK here. Now when I go back to this text, I double click in the box. I select the text. In the properties box, I go to text, colors and effects. And in the fill category, now I have a dark green option. Click on that. And that's how you add a color. This works for shapes, for text, for the background, for anything that you can do with the fill option. Once you add a color to the palette, it stays there for this project.